The differences between heat and temperature may be a very common question to your exam paper. So that is why I was thinking to upload a short video on it, the difference between heat and temperature. I have written something, uh, it's maybe common for you that, or also if you study uh, properly about heat and temperature, you also make some differences between these. So um, that is why I was thinking to make a short video because uh, this question is very common. Like what is heat and what is temperature? If I see first the, the definition, there is a differences. That in case of heat, we can say that heat is a form of energy. Of course, this is a form of energy because it has the capability of doing something. And we can say that, okay, heat is a form of energy which gives us the sensitivity of coldness and heatness. And then the other part, the temperature is a thermal condition. Thermal condition of a body which, which will determine that if this body is have a thermal contact with another body, will it give heat or will it accept it? So it depends on the temperature. So the temperature is a thermal condition. So simply we can say the first differences in their definition. So heat is a form of energy and temperature is the thermal condition. Secondly, that is very important. That flow of heat that I said it earlier, that flow of heat from one body to another body, when two bodies will have a thermal contact, it does not depend on heat. Flow of heat does not depend on the amount of heat. So it doesn't mean that how much heat a body has, but temperature. The flow of heat totally depends on temperature because temperature is a thermal condition. Third, in case of unit, we can say that the unit of heat is joule and the unit of temperature is mostly Kelvin, but we have three scales like degrees Celsius, Kelvin and Fahrenheit. But we say that the unit of temperature is Kelvin. Last but not least, it's something understandable like the amount of heat possesses by two bodies may be different. What is the meaning of it? I mean, well, suppose two different bodies made up of iron and copper. Of course, it, it's very common that the amount of heat of these two bodies won't same even if the temperature is the same. Think about it. Suppose a body of iron mass of 5 kg having the temperature 30 degrees Celsius and another body of copper which is mass of 10 gram it may have the same temperature like 30 degrees Celsius. So if I say that this is a body of iron made up of iron and this is made up of copper both the body may have the same temperature. It can have 30 degrees Celsius and it also can have 30 degrees Celsius. But the thing is, these are not the same metal. These are not the same amount of mass. Suppose this is 30 kilogram and this is 1 kilogram. It's made up of iron, it's made up of copper, but the temperature is same. So it means that the amount of heat possesses by two bodies may be different even if the temperature is same. So you see the temperature is same but the amount of heat that possesses by iron and the amount of heat possesses by copper are not same, maybe. But even temperature of two bodies may be different even if the amount of heat possesses by the in the same. That means if I say that heat has like inside 300 Kelvin. If I say that the temperature of this body is 300 Kelvin and this body also 300 Kelvin. It's the same thing. The temperature may be same but even it may have some sort of things like the, the amount of heat that possesses they are not same. So that is why we can have the same meaning in two different ways. That's the temperature of two bodies, temperature of two bodies like this may be different even if the amount of heat possessed by them is the same. So it means that, I mean, if I say that it has same amount of heat inside, temperature may not be same. If I say the temperature is same, may not be the possessed heat by these two matter is not same. 
So that is why both cases it's right. So we can have one look of the heat and temperature. At first we can say the definition. Form of energy and is a thermal condition. You can say that flow of heat doesn't depend on the amount of heat, but you can say that depends on temperature. In case of unit, we can say that Joule and Kelvin. And in this case, I explained. So I hope if you have more understanding of heat and temperature in case of differences, put it down. And if you find something, do let me know in the comment sections. I hope your study will be a best version of yourself and keep going to your success. See you on the next class with the Celsius, Kelvin and Fahrenheit relationship. Take care.